In this video, I'm going to explain quantize on track. This is a way to quantize individual events to align to the grid. And it doesn't use audio bend or anything like that. It just moves the event to line up. So if you've got drums chopped up into beats like this, so individual beats, and they're not lining up to the track, this is an easy way to quantize. In version one of Studio One, this feature was called Quantize Event Starts which is a very descriptive name. Quantize on track does the exact same thing, but the features may be a little hard to discover, so I thought I would do a video just to show you how to set it up and how I map this to the keyboard so that I can easily access it at any point. So here's my beat. So this was just created by chopping up some material. I just made sure that all the downbeats were aligned to the front edge of the event. If they're not, you'll find that there is a way you can slip the event using Option Command while dragging like this. That would be Control Alt while dragging on a PC so you can align it to the beginning. So once it's aligned that way, then we're ready to quantize. So I've select eighth notes for my grid up here in quantize. And then we just go to event quantize, quantize on track. And let's see what that did. Well, that was just a single event. What we really want to do is select all the events that we want to quantize. Event, quantize, quantize on track. And that should straighten this out significantly. So this is a really cool thing because we can use it along with the quantize panel to impart a wide variety of feels to a drum part that's been chopped up in this way. Now there's another way to access that feature. If you right click on the event selection under event, then you can find here's quantize on track right here as well. It does the very same thing. Now let's assign it to a keyboard shortcut. Under Studio One Preferences, Studio One menu is over here on the PC. Anyway, it works the same way. Keyboard Shortcuts. We can search for the word Quantize. And you can find it right here, Quantize on Track. It's not assigned to any keyboard shortcut by default. So I'm going to use Shift Option Q. That would be Shift Alt Q on a PC and assign that to Quantize on Track. So we'll apply that. Click OK. And now I'm going to use some of these features to modify the swing for this. So I really like with eighth notes to have a swing somewhere around 60 to 62%. I think that sounds pretty cool. Now I just do Shift Option Q. Let's hear how it sounds. All right, pretty interesting. Let's make that swing even higher. Shift Option Q. And now I've applied a little bit more delay to those eighth notes. And what if we want a triplet feel? Let's just try that. Now I can do Shift Option Q. It would be Shift Alt Q on a PC. Now, if you're using this and you wanted to speed up or slow down this track, we have put the tempo mode to follow. And then it will just stretch out these events proportionally as we speed up or slow down the song. So let me put it into 140, and you'll see that they got pushed together more. But it still sounds the same. Or if we wanted to slow down the song a lot, go to 100, they just stretch out. So if you're using this style of composition, the tempo follow mode is really helpful if you're in this sort of mode. So that's the quantize on track feature. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.